Marcus back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Chini Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a simple, delicious potato salad. This potato salad right here, hands down, is delicious. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, you make a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my potato salad before. Gonna make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. First thing that you will need, of course, is some potatoes. Now, the potatoes that I like to use is always gonna be a Idaho or a russet potato. You can make them with red potato set, you know, with red potatoes and um, also the yellow Yukon, but when I make a potato salad, I like to use russet or Idaho. You will need some mayonnaise. So the mayonnaise that we're gonna be using today would be a Duke's mayonnaise, and we're also gonna use some Miracle Whip. We're gonna combine the two. You will need some mustard and also some sweet relish. And then in this bag here, I have some boiled eggs that I boiled a couple hours ago. And then we have some mini seedless cucumbers. We also have some celery and a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. Right here, we have some paprika to give us some color. We have some parsley for color, black pepper, garlic powder, and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet yeah, so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious potato salad. Now, what I want, first thing that I want to show you all is how I like to cut the potatoes because a lot of people ask the question like, okay, so when I cut my potatoes, how big or how small should I cut them? I'm gonna show you right now. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below. When is the last time you all had some delicious homemade potato salad? Not the potato salad you can find at your local market, but some real potato salad. If you haven't had any in, for a while, you are in for a treat because this recipe right here is simple and listen here, it is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I love the flavor that we get when we use these here ingredients. And what's really interesting about this recipe is we are going to put cucumbers in this recipe. If you never ever had a potato salad that has seedless, and make sure they're seedless, seedless cucumber in your potato salad? Listen here, it's like a game changer. It really bumps up a nice potato salad. It's so refreshing. It gives it like a cool feeling to the palate and you just have to try it. So once we get it nice and peeled, as you've seen, I just did one. We're gonna slice down the middle, slice down this way, turn that baby and this way. So this is about the size, not too big, you know, and then not again, not too small. And what I like to do is let's talk about something really quickly. I'll turn around and take these potatoes that we just peeled and cut. And I like to rinse them several times. When you first start to rinse them, what will happen is your, your water will be really cloudy because naturally the potatoes are starchy. Let's rinse off some of that starch. So you rinse it off about five or six times until the water becomes nice and clear and then you boil them. Well, I've boiled the potatoes ahead of time. When I come back, we're gonna cut up our veggies and we'll get started on the recipe. So the first thing that I like to do is, if there's anything that you need to cut, let's go ahead and get all your cutting out the way, which would be, of course, your eggs, your celery, your cucumbers, and let's do that right now. If I haven't said, I hope that you all are having an amazing day. I do. I hope you all are having a great day today. And happy belated Valentine's Day to everyone. If I haven't said that already, I know a lot of you messaged me yesterday but happy Valentine's Day. I hope you all had an amazing day. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm not using a lot of celery. I feel like when you're having potato salad, you want for the potatoes to really be the star. You don't wanna overwhelm potato salad with onions. 
You don't want to overwhelm it with anything, but you do need some flavor. And that flavor definitely in this recipe is going to come from the celery and definitely the cucumbers, okay? It's going to give it a nice, vibrant, refreshing taste like I said. So now if we look at these pieces here, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like the pieces are a little too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to go across this just like so, so we can really chop it down because when I feed this to my loved ones, I don't want them to bite into huge pieces of celery. I'm not, I'm not looking for that. Now, those of you that don't like the texture of celery, you can put a little bit of celery seed in your recipe and it'll give it that same taste without the texture of the celery. So I'm gonna go through this several times until I get it nice and fine, then I'll be back, show you what to do next. So we have our celery and look how tiny it is. That's what I'm looking for. And that's how I want you guys to cut yours. So now, here's what I like to do anytime I have cucumbers, whether it's the regular cucumbers or these little minis here. I always like to take off some of the um, skin just by using a knife and going down it in some places, but I do leave you know, some of the skin on. I'm just not a fan of cucumber skin. So we take some off and it gives it a cute little design, right? Okay, so now, in order to get little teeny tiny pieces that I'm looking for, we're going to do a number like that. I'm just going to chop it up just like so. We want fine pieces. And if you want it chopped down even finer than that, you can do the same technique that we just did with the celery just like so. Okay? Beautiful cut onto these cucumbers. Like I said, if you love cucumbers, try it next time you make a potato salad. It's going to wow your family and friends. You bet it is. Okay, so now we're going to, same thing, get you a couple little matchsticks like that of the cucumber. <laughs> Give it a nice chop just like so. When I come back, I'm going to show you all what you need to do next. So now that we have our celery, and we have our cucumbers nice and chopped up, very fine. Let's go ahead and incorporate our boiled eggs. When I make a potato salad, I love to have boiled eggs in our potato salad. It just really makes for a great taste. You bet it does. Kind of gives me vibes of like deviled eggs, you know, with potatoes in it. I love, love, love a boiled egg. So now we're gonna cut it up just like so in this manner. I'm gonna get that big piece that fell. All right, just like so. Get it nice and chopped up. And then I'll cut the others off camera. I'll be back to show you all the measurements that I like to use for my mayonnaise. So now that we have all of our veggies um, nice and chopped up, we have the eggs in with the cooled potatoes. Your potatoes must be cooled. You know, I made these potatoes a couple hours ago, and what I like to do is honestly, I cook them for, <clears throat> excuse me, I cook them until they're nice and pork tender. What is pork tender? Well, when you take your fork and you can stick it in that potato, and then you go to pull your fork out, the potato will slide off with ease. That's pork tender. Now, don't overcook the potatoes. If you overcook them, it'll be mush. Then what I like to do is a quick way to cool the potatoes down, throw them in the refrigerator for a few minutes, throw them in your freezer for a few minutes. Just let them cool down before making the salad. That's very important, okay? So now, um, when it comes, let, let's talk about one more thing. I'm sorry, guys. Um, there has been times in the past where I've made potato salad and I've used um, onion. I do like a potato salad with onion. But I've learned that I prefer to have a potato salad without onion. So now, in the near future, you're gonna see me making potato salad without the onions. I just prefer it, now I do, without onions. I think it tastes better. So now we're gonna go in with one heaping spoon of the sweet relish, a little tiny bit more, okay? And that's just a sweet relish here. And that's going to replace a little bit of sugar, okay? Because you all know when I make a salad, I make an egg salad, a tuna salad, chicken salad, I'm always putting in a little bit of sugar. That's where our sweetness is going to come from, okay? So now I want to go in with a little bit of yellow mustard. Yellow mustard is like needed in potato salad. Not too much. That's about a tablespoon and maybe a half, okay? And now we need 
your savory mayonnaise, which is gonna be our Dukes. I've fallen in love with Dukes mayonnaise. When you're making up a potato salad, you don't want to overdress it. You just don't. You don't want it too, too, too creamy. And then you don't want it to be dry either. So you gotta find that balance. You have to find a balance. How can I make it not too creamy, but not too dry? You know, start off with a little bit. When you start off, this is the Miracle Whip. When you start off with a little bit, you can always add two. But if you start off with too much, you can't take away and you kind of ruin it, you know. So now, we're gonna go in and mix everything up. Once we get everything mixed up, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna season it. And we're gonna taste it several times so you know the flavor that you're feeding to your loved ones. So now we're gonna put in that finely chopped seedless cucumber, little tiny bit of celery, no onion, <laughs> no onion. All right, and when you stir it, stir it gently. You don't have to be crazy with this, you know? Excuse me, one thing you don't wanna do is break the potatoes all up and then you have mashed <laughs> potato salad, you know? Like, be careful with it. That's why I'm using this soft spatula. And look at this, it's not overdressed. But if you look at the consistency right now, you can definitely tell that we're gonna need some more mayonnaise. And that's how I like to do it. Start out with a little bit. So I'm gonna add both of the mayonnaise so I can get that perfect consistency that I'm looking for. And I'll come right back. Let me show you the consistency. So all I did, I put another dollop of that Duke's another dollop of the Miracle Whip. This is the consistency. You don't want it watery. You don't want it dry. And look at that. Just like so. That's what we're looking for, okay? So now, I'm going all in with the black pepper. You bet I am, because guess what? Good flavor right there. I'm going all in with the garlic powder. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to season. And you're gonna need some salt. Don't get crazy with it. If your family wants more seasoning, you know, after you season it, they can always go back in with seasoning, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I wanna get this well incorporated and we have to taste it. You gotta taste it because you wanna know what your family members are tasting or your friends or whoever. All right, let's go ahead and taste it right now. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. I can't wait. Go on in. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's put this in the sink. It's in the sink for everybody saying, ooh, don't use the same fork. Mmm. I gotta taste it again. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. The celery, the cucumber, the seasonings, everything is perfect. <laughs> if you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead, say a prayer, and you all can take that first bite. My mouth is full. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style, homemade potato salad, make you so. And the red on top, of course, is the paprika. Give it some nice color. Amen, once again to my beautiful prayer. Time to dive in. Got a little bowl, got the potato salad. Let's dig in. This right here, you wanna make it for your family and friends. Make it for every holiday, make it for a birthday, make it for a cookout, make it just because it's delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I can't get enough of this recipe. Mm, 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 mm. I love this recipe. Mm, mm, mm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.